Thanks for stopping by WCPO.com. I'm nine first warning meteorologist Jennifer Ketchmark and a little update here on Florence. Hurricane Florence, a category four hurricane. Uh, overnight, it held steady at around 140 mile per hour sustained winds there in the eye wall. But I mean, a very defined core and center to this storm. Very wide expanse. Now, in the next 24 hours. Let's go ahead and get a closer look at this. You're you're looking at rip currents first being an issue because you have that kind of perpendicular wind to the coastline. So that will be an issue. Then you'll start to get those bigger swells, those higher waves. The outlying rain bands will come in, starting with the kind of higher winds and even some flooding. But then you really just have to focus in on where is this beast going to make landfall. The morning update still has this as a category four hurricane at landfall by late Thursday night, first thing Friday morning. And I mean that winds at a 135 miles per hour. This will be a storm that this area has not seen since the 50s and 60s. It has been a very long time and almost kind of providing a, a false sense of security in that area because it just hasn't happened in many people's lives lifetimes. But one of the things that I will really get large billing this week and a lot of attention is that storm surge. Yes, we know wind. Yes, we know rain, but the storm surge is another huge element of this. And this is a three dimensional look of, of kind of a model of what storm surge does. It's the water level rise, but also the push in that those waves start thrashing onto docks and bridges, uh, buildings just getting inundated with water. So there's a big reason why this, the winds, the rain, that so many uh, evacuation orders have been issued. And at this point, people are getting out.